It is Friday, December 17th of 2021. Oh, squirrel. Sorry. <laughs> Literally, squirrel. <laughs> and this is Guy's Daily Drive. Squirrel. Bam. And welcome everyone to Guy's Daily Drive. I'm actually starting a little sooner than I normally do. Uh, I don't think it's because I've got so much to say today as it's, I had something on my mind and I wanted to, uh, come on lady, go. I wanted to get it started You could have pulled out to the side, but you know. Wow. I, I really do try. I try so hard to give people a break on the road. And so many times, the fact that they don't know how to drive makes it, makes it hell. It just doesn't work. That's okay. Sometimes you just, you deal with life the way it, it kind of, it kind of comes to you. Speaking of which, at some point, the education system has forgotten how to teach kids to do basic math. Now, we learned, yes, boomers, we learned because we didn't have apps, we didn't have calculators, we didn't have all of the things that you can use to do basic math now without having to keep it in your head because then you have more room for social media memes and things like that, I guess. I don't know. But I was at a McDonald's and um, I, I guess I have to preface this with saying I had a lot of quarters in my pocket. And the reason why I had a lot of quarters in my pocket was that with the holidays coming up and people coming to stay at the house, Tracy decided that we needed to wash the comforters. And the comforters on the various beds are pretty much too big to fit in the washer and dryers we have at the house. So we gathered them together and I got them in the car and I drove to a laundromat and Usually with things like with things like comforters, which is usually the main reason why I go to a laundromat, they're all just gonna get washed in warmer cold water. You don't have to really worry too much about the color of the comforters because you know they're comforters. They're they're gonna be pretty resilient. So I found a 60 pound machine, 60 pound washer. I put them all in that and I didn't have, I was gonna get $10 in quarters, but I didn't have a $10 bill. So I got $20 in quarters and it was nine seventy five dollars to wash these comforters. So that left me with $10 and 25 cents in quarters, basic math. It cost me about $2, $3 to get them dried. So I still had like $7 and quarters, seven, $8 and quarters. So 
I get back home and I've just got this incredible amount of quarters, way too many quarters to deal with. So I go ahead and I get all the, oh, you are a jerk. I get all the other quarters that I had on my dresser, which was a couple dollars more. And I was going out, I was going out for some uh, grocery store, I think, to pick up a couple of things. And it was around lunchtime. And I decided that with all these quarters, I was going to stop at McDonald's and I was just going to pay for every, you know, I wasn't going to go through the drive through because that would have been hell. And it would not have been a nice thing to do, not just to the people that are at the drive through window, but for all the people who would have been behind me in, in line, in cars. So I went inside. And I ordered, it was like the crispy chicken sandwich meal, supersized. And I think it, it came to like just under $9. So I get out all my quarters and I start putting them in rows of four. Four quarters equals a dollar, just to see if I had enough, because I didn't really know at that point. And as it turned out, I had like nine dollars and 25 cents in quarters so i put up nine dollars in quarters and it was 883 i believe was the total bill so that would have been 883 from nine is leaves you with 17 cents basic math so i, I put all the quarters up and the the person behind the counter was really struggling with this concept of not just paying in cash, which I, I'm not sure many people are even used to anymore, but to pay in quarters. So just, it was a struggle. So they got through that and then they were, they were going to give me my change. And I think, I think she just gave up and she handed me a nickel when the change should have been 17 cents and I looked at the nickel and I looked at her and it was like you know I, I for 17s for 12 cents 5 from 17 is 12 for 12 cents I was not going to stretch out this stupid transaction anymore I just wasn't going to do it. It was like, okay, here, I'll take the nickel. I'll put that in my pocket. You just make sure you give me the food that I've ordered. And we'll call it a day. Which is what I did. And I got my food, got my drink, and I walked out the door. And I was just astounded that something as simple as basic math and this isn't the first time that I've run into this with with this generation or even the last generation where it's like they're just so used to say okay you've got nine dollars worth of food beep 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 nine dollars sorry eight eighty eight dollars and eighty three cents of food beep 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 and you've given me nine dollars beep 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 machine tells me that you get back 17 cents. So now I have to figure out what is 17 cents in change. It's a dime, it's a nickel, it's two pennies. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> and I think she just gave up. She was like, and I don't know if she thought I couldn't figure it out or if, if I wasn't gonna call her on it. 12 cents. And in that case, she was right. You know, it just... Is it worth the hassle, especially since I hadn't gotten my food yet, to call somebody out and make them think they are stupid for 12 cents? And I decided it was not. It's like, you gave me a nickel. That represents in your mind 
the change that I was entitled to from $9 with an $8, $8.83 bill. That's what, that's what you figured I should get back. <laughs> it was like, okay, I'll take my nickel. I'll put it in my pocket and we'll call it a day. That's good enough. So, I don't know. It's, it's disheartening that there's time to figure out memes and there's time to try to come up with some stupid concept to film on TikTok or YouTube or any of the other social media platforms, but there isn't time to understand basic math. One of the things going on right now is a big call for debt to be forgiven for college. I don't know about that. Under certain circumstances, I can see it. If, if you have you know, it, it, if I had any say in it, and I really don't, for things like professions in the medical field, engineering, you know, things that we are so short on right now, um, I would, I would certainly offer tuition free tuition for engineers, doctors, even veterinarians. Skills that are so desperately needed. Um, I think we have enough English history majors. I think we have enough of Majors that involve the social sciences that I would not offer scholarship. If you want to study the social sciences and you want that to be what you get a, a degree in, okay, great, you know, do that. Just don't ask everyone else to pay for it. If you want to be a doctor, you want to be a nurse, you want to be an engineer, I I wouldn't mind putting forth tax money for those professions. But the rest of it, no, not really. Basic math skills, which should be taught in high school. You know, I mean we see we see this all the time. You have kids going into college that just don't have the basic skills that they need for basic college courses. And they're having to take remedial courses in college just to prepare to do the basic work on basic courses in college. That's, you know, you, these, are, these are public school systems that are failing. They're failing the kids. Don't graduate someone if they don't have the basic skills that that people are paying tax money for. Their own parents have paid tax money for to teach them the basic skills that they need. Basic math, basic English, basic writing, all of these things. Kids coming out of high school, graduating high school should know these things. And if they don't, then they should not be graduating from high school. High school is not a participation sport. You shouldn't get a, a trophy for just showing up. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about it. So we have the holidays are coming. Let's get a little moment here. Let's turn this down. Holidays are coming. And 